In one breath, let's break down the working principles of the atomic bomb. And trust me, it's not as complicated as it sounds. First, let's talk about the atomic bomb itself. Anyone who has ever studied how it works knows that, in theory, the principle isn't rocket science. So why is it that something described in middle school textbooks can only be built by a handful of nations on Earth? It all comes down to uranium, the key ingredient. Uranium has an atomic number of 92, and in nature it mostly appears in two forms, uranium-235 and uranium-238. U-235 has 92 protons and 143 neutrons, while U-238 has 92 protons and 146 neutrons. Elements with the same number of protons but different neutrons are called isotopes. Here's the important part. U-235 is extremely reactive, making it the ideal fuel for a nuclear weapon. But nature plays a cruel joke, because 99.2% of all uranium on Earth is U-238, which doesn't make good bomb material. Only 0.7% is the highly reactive U-235. And that's where the real challenge begins. To build an atomic bomb, you need highly enriched U-235. And separating that tiny fraction from the massive amount of U-238 is one of the hardest engineering challenges humans have ever solved. The technology, the precision, the security, the global regulations, that's why almost no country on Earth can actually build one. 